So in this video, we're going to look at how we set up our fire circle and the safety equipment that you'll need when you're lighting a fire um, and the, the procedures that you'll need to go through with your children before you start. So the first thing to mention is the fire circle itself. Now obviously your fire circle needs to be uh, clear, it needs to be free of any debris, especially in the autumn when there are lots of dry leaves around. Um, and it needs to be secure and this, the key thing is that the logs aren't going to move or fall over when the children are sitting on them near the fire. We also recommend that the logs are at least 1.5 metres away from your fire pit in the middle of the circle. So the other things that you're going to need with you when you're lighting your fire are your safety uh, equipment, your fire blanket. The fire blanket is really important for extinguishing fires maybe if oil is burning also can be really useful if you have to extinguish any clothing or if a, if, if a, a child would um, set fire to their clothing you could wrap them up in this. There is another fire blanket hanging in the trees there so it's really easy for us to just release it if we do need it. Now we've also got some fire gauntlets. These are welding gloves. Uh, they're not fireproof but they are fire resistant so they'll help you if you need to move things around on the fire or if, you have a, if you're cooking and you need to move hot metal pans and things like that. We've also got our fire uh, first aid kit. So it's a, a general first aid kit and inside here is a burns kit which can be really helpful if you do have a burn uh, or an incident where you need to cool that down quickly in order to move the child away from the site, perhaps to an ambulance or to get them off site quickly. Finally, most importantly, is our water. And this is a clean bucket of tap water, so not water from a river, not anything that's contaminated. This needs to be clean. And we recommend it's at least five litres of water per fire. Now, if you're going to have a bigger fire, bring more water. It's sensible to have too much rather than not enough. And inside the bucket here, I've got a cup. And the reason for this is that we can use this cup to just pour over a burn, which means that you've got that cold running water which is the most effective way to cool a burn down if that does happen. And the water is covered by a clean towel. And the reason for that is to keep the um, water clean so that no debris falls in it. But also we can use the towel to get water and to douse burning clothing or a burn that we can't physically get underneath the running water. So the other thing that you obviously need to make sure that you've got with you is your risk assessment for the fire and a procedure for lighting the fire which sets out the equipment that you're going to need how you're going to manage the fire safely and what you would do if there was an incident or an emergency. So that's setting up your fire circle. Obviously it's something that's really important to think about before you plan to have a fire and something that you need to just check every time you're working with fire with the children.